Right hello everybody, English Woods me here, welcome to my YouTube channel most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. I'm just heading into the uh, very local woodland, not fantastic, it's just a woodland where you can get quite deep in and you know you can set up and you're not going to be pestered and I was hoping to have a campfire to do a bit of cooking now, when I say cooking you know what I'm on about people, but it's rained now for at least 13 hours you can hear the rain, so I've got another way of cooking, and it isn't gas. But until I get to camp, you'll have to wait and see. Right, so for my followers who are already subscribed to my channel, I want to show you some of what I brought for stealth camping using a hammock. Now, if you're not yet subscribed and you want to see more of these videos and the stealth camping videos what I'm on about, you can always do this by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Press the bell and be notified every time I do upload a new video. At the moment, I can't thank the amount of people that are subscribing to my channel. It's, it's on the rise again and it's on the rise brilliantly. Now you can see Bushman's mix there, it's come down to Woods Fit there. Anyway, back to hammock. I've got myself a camouflaged hammock and a three meter tarp. The daisy chains that it come with were no good. They wouldn't have wrapped around the tree and give you that three meter distance for the tarp. So uh, the tree hooks, the straps, the daisy trees, whatever you want to call them, are there. And I've got a bit of power cord that I need to put the bug net up with. Right, so the hammock and the tarp set up, mosquito net built into it. The hammock's probably about seven foot maybe. The tarp, yeah, it is a cheap hammock set up, 30 quid for the pair of them off Amazon. It's not too bad, is it, for these sort of videos? You know, it's coming up woods and chilling out in rain, cooking a little bit of dinner. If we we're gonna stay out all night, I'd have a setup like mix. Now, the camo on this, I won't say it's terrible. And it's the same on the hammock as well. Yeah, I won't say it's terrible, but I'd say, say it's not the best compared to the uh, DD camo. There's a whole load of difference. The DD one does look probably a lot more better. What do you think? So if you step back here and you've got the DD one there like that. And then you turn around to this one here. Which one do you reckon's a little bit more camouflaging? Right, so an under blanket. Now, it is the Wound Tigerus under blanket. It is supposed to be this sort of camo on it. Now, I'll be truthful as well, I'm always honest on my video. I didn't even bother getting this set up out of the uh, bag to look at. I just put it in my little studio. Coming up with today, I just grabbed it. Same again with the Wound Tigerus 
uh, under blanket. I ain't even got it out, so I don't even know if it is the same camera what it shows in the bag or if everything's right with it. It's not a bad thing if to sum it wrong because it's not exactly cold, I'm not going to freeze in there. Yeah, that's a good thing. And they say this is a three to four seasons. I'll probably give this a try, you know, uh, colder weathers. It don't look too bad though, does it? So you kind of be in a clip here, and then you've got another one here. I'm not promoting this in any way or form. I just got it because I wanted a camo one to go with this dodgy camo set that I've got here. <laughs> You know, in the past, I've had some of the uh, One Tigers equipment, and some of it's good, some of it, you know, not for me, let's say, without sounding too negative to other people's comments and thoughts about their equipment. But, this under blanket, I can see where they say it's probably a three seasons one, not four seasons. The other one, Tiger's one that I've got, it doesn't seem to be this thick. With a hammock set up now as it is, I've got about inch and a half gap between myself and the under blanket underneath. So that's really good. The problem is the hammock's probably a little bit too small for myself. So it'd be all right for my daughter to choose or one of my younger lads if they want to come out. But the under blanket is not bad. Maybe some I bring out in the winter time, you know, give it a bit of a test through day when temperature is low. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm still not over keen on the the camo. <laughs> not of this. I am more look see if one tiger has a tarp like this and a hammock. I'll have a look on their site and see what they've got. But for now, I want to get a little bit of shot eye and I'll bring you back and then we'll get on with some dinner. Right, time to cook some dinner. I'm going to be using this cheap stove that I brought from Amazon. I went through a phrase on my channel, you know, where, well, let's say a stage on my channel, where all I kept doing was buying the cheap Lexada stoves and different stoves like that off Amazon. And there's some new ones come on now, so I've noticed that. So I think we can all guess what that means. I'm going to start buying these new stoves and start making some videos of them. Right, the stove's pretty simple, it just clicks together, it's a bit wonky, it sort of warped really bad, you know, with the heat of the fire. You can get uh, the grill to put on top. Now, at the beginning of the video, I did say, you know, I'm going to try to cook my dinner a little bit of a different way. I've got some barbecue uh, charcoal. <laughs> we may as well just go for it, haven't we? You can tell I'm not going to be able to light a fire. If I had to carry a load of dry wood in, that would be an extra weight. So I thought, you know what, let's go different. Let's do something a bit different. So we're going to be uh, lighting that inside the little stove. 
and then we're going to be cooking some steak. Tesco steak, you know. Butchers won't open today, so Tesco's will do. So I'll get this lit, let the charcoal burn down a little bit, and then we'll bang the steak on. Barbecue steak in the wet woodland. What more could you ask for? <laughs> now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out. What we're going to have to do is just give it a go and see how it goes. That's all we're going to have to do. So I'm just trying to get these little, called Bigfoot Bushcraft. I don't think you can see it there, can you, like that? It's their firelighter equipment that they sent me. What I'm hoping to do is just try to light the, the thing on here and I can chuck it straight in the... So I do hope that goes right and don't all fall out. It shouldn't fall out. It should burn down it all properly. Let's tilt the stove back a little bit. There we go. Yeah, let's hope it goes all right this. I'll admit, at all my thought it was a brilliant idea. <laughs> and now when I'm doing it, I'm like, yeah, I don't think this is too much of a good idea. But I'll bring you back when it's all sort of like going nicely. Right, so it's finally settling down a little bit. I did lose quite a few bits that come out of the bag straight away. So you can see it white carry bag to left or right at the screen, whichever it be for you. I've uh, put some back in there what want on fire. The ones that fell on the floor, what were burning, I poured a bit of water over them so we don't cause no fires. But as soon as these flames go down and all the charcoal goes red like that, then, we'll put the steak on. So here's the question, are we ready? <laughs> Here we go people, put your fingers on the thumbs up if this sounds fantastic, ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, mind you it's not a hot plate, still hit that thumbs up button if you like this idea what I'm doing. There's some heat coming off that as well. Woo! It's already marking it. Still hit that thumbs up button, please, people, if you like this. If you like the idea of it, and if you're not subscribed and you're still watching, please do subscribe to my channel. Yeah, this is fantastic. Now, this will slowly cook the steak instead of burning it straight away with all the fire. This will slowly cook it. And you know what? There's no rush whatsoever. We have all day for this. We really do. Where else on YouTube are you going to see this? <laughs> that must be absolutely crazy or gone in head. <laughs> but where else would you see this on YouTube? Someone actually barbecues cooking a steak in the middle of the woods. When it's absolutely pouring it down. Well, we've got a small break in weather now, but <laughs> where else would you see this? 
I tell you what, if I was stuck on an island by myself, I'd absolutely love it, wouldn't I? Because I'm quite clever at amusing myself. <laughs> I really am. Oh, I could chuckle all night to myself if I really want to do. <laughs> Barbecue and a steak in the middle of the woods. Mick's looking at me thinking, what an idiot. <laughs> I was looking at me thinking, I'm going to have that if it goes off anyway. It's cooking nicely though. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Right, so the steak is cooking beautiful. You've realised, oh, look at that, people. Just take a look at that. Fantastic. If you're wondering why I'm turning my steak over with a uh, titanium spoon, as always, I always leave some at home, and this time, I left my knife. I get everything out on my little cupboard thing and today with knife, it's not a big problem. <laughs> We're just going to do it with a spoon. You know, I've just realised what I said. It's not a big deal I've left my knife at home. I'm going to cut my steak. <laughs> yeah. Caveman style. We're going to have to go caveman style, fingers. Let it cool down a little bit. Get in there with fingers. I love doing this. I, I love doing videos. I love uploading to YouTube. I love knowing people's going to be watching me and laughing along with me. I love it that people don't take me, you know, seriously as a survival expert because we'd all be dead in a week if it were that, that me to survive. <laughs> <laughs> be dead honestly i just do things and record and you know what end of it all it doesn't turn out too bad does it just don't count on me to survive or you know if, if you need me to survive because i'm not going to do a good job here am i that's why i always claim i'm not an, a survival expert a bushcraft expert i just come out and i just do what i do and you know what almost 36,000 subscribers on my channel. I've got to be doing something right. I really have. Right, I'll just leave that to stand for five minutes. People have been saying it on my channel a few times now. Leave it to stand for five minutes or so. And push it cool down and I can use my fingers to eat it. When you think about the chopping board, eh? I've had it a couple of years now. Right, so Bushman Mick has kind of lent me his knife. Well, that is cooked absolutely perfect. Oh, I like it. I know there's some people out there that like it. Sort of still alive in the centre. It's not for me that at all. I've tried it, don't get me wrong. I'm not just saying because I don't like it. I've definitely tried it. But it isn't for me eating it that raw. You can always comment below if you want and tell me. How you like yours? 
Right, so we've got some nice little chunk sizes there. Mm. That is done absolutely perfect. You know, earlier when I was joking around about surviving, I think with most people, the survival instincts would kick in anyway, wouldn't it? So you'd, you'd survive. You always find a way around stuff. And if you don't, there's only one other way you're going, innit? You're not gonna survive. But yeah, I think the, the human body itself and the brain is very clever when it needs to be. So I think within that situation, people will survive. I'd survive anyway, I'm not saying. I'd probably die, you know. I don't, you, you get what I mean, don't you? When you need to survive, you do. Mm. Right, so it's been a really good afternoon into evening. I could lay it all day and all night, but I don't have enough stuff to camp overnight. And sadly, I'm not going to say sadly actually, unfortunately, I'm not going to say that. Well, I don't, yeah, I have to get home for kids, <laughs> sadly. You know what I mean, don't you? I'm a family man, I've got to get home. So I'm going to pack up and I'm going to get myself off. Now there's some things that have popped up on the screen on one side and down here somewhere there's a circle. If you're not yet subscribed and you want to subscribe, you can please press that and you'll be able to subscribe to my channel. And then more videos there, the links to previous videos on my channel. Most of all, thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody. I'll definitely see you next time.